Ominous start to the game for the River Kings. They try to clear their zone, but the puck is picked off, and moments later, it's in the back of the net for the opening goal. Trent Linklater getting the steam off and running just 2.39 into this game. A step in Timo Fayev picks up the second goal as he gathers the rebound off the post and deposits behind Jeff Julian. Still in the first, Grand Picard finds Matt Fisher. He rockets a shot glove side past Julian on the power play to make it 4-0. This game is almost already out of reach. A minute and a half later, John St. John sent in. He restores some sanity in the first period to make it 4-1, but this was not the start of a stirring comeback. Before the period is put to bed, Marcus Rose pulls the pocket past Simon Hatt. He beats Lalonde, who's now in goal, 6-1 after 20 minutes. Julian would return to the net for the start of the second, but the wave of goals didn't end. Matt Fisher pulls the trigger on his second goal of the evening. The River Kings score a pretty one off the faceoff win. Kyle Powell picks out St. John in front of the goal, and he quickly beats Denny Doublestein. St. John looking to make it a three-goal lead, but he's hammered from behind by Jake Sterrett. Oshawa would go to the power play. They don't score on that man-up situation, but on the next, Powell floats a shot in from the blue line. Ryan Nichols may have gotten a piece of it, but at very least he provided a good distraction. Powell gets credit his 46th of the season, but once again, the comeback bid is not in the cards. The Steam go on to score six more goals, including this one from Ethan Convert with six seconds left on the clock, all part of a 12-3 win.